Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 uh, .mov file. I'm having a big difficulty uh, importing it into this program. Here's a list of the .mov files I have ready to go. And checking on the properties here, you can see that it is in fact a .mov file that I'm importing. And a little known fact, uh, just a short time ago, Adobe and Premiere uh, discontinued the use of .mov files. Um, and so did Apple. So these files should no longer work very well with the Adobe Premiere Pro product. And here is what happens when I try to import the .mov file. All I was getting was a bunch of audio files and no video. And that is because a .mov file has been uh, degraded or depreciated, as they say in the business, by Apple. And uh, earlier this year in 2017, uh, there was an alert sent out to Windows users that they should eliminate the use of QuickTime Player uh, and also Apple uh, took away the support of the .mov file in the Windows system. So a little bit of a, not controversy, but uh, Apple versus Windows there uh, rearing its ugly head again. I went up to the Adobe website and uh, checked out some of the forums Evidently, uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with this uh, .mov file, especially Windows users not being able to be imported properly uh, with the Adobe Premiere product for video here. And here's a sort of a workaround uh, for this specific issue this person was having. It says, why is my .mov file, uh, video file, importing as pure audio? Well, there was a workaround suggested for it, and this person was using uh, an iPhone, I believe, to record the video. And uh, the workaround was to um, re-import it to the computer. Um, and evidently at this time, uh, this thread goes back about a month or so from when I'm recording this specific video. But evidently, these people did not do their full research and know that the .mov file is no longer supported in Windows. So you're always going to have a problem, uh, as of right now anyway, with uh, using the .mov file, which is an Apple type of um, codec, so to speak and uh, using it with the Windows product, importing video with Adobe. So going on down further onto this thread, uh, they suggest uh, renaming the file and uh, re-importing it, actually, not simply renaming it. And, of course, it should work because you're actually converting the file. And I'm going to do this a little later in this tutorial using one of the best uh, products around uh, currently. And here's another um, excellent support type of uh, answer here. But of course, uh, here is the answer. Premiere does not support .mov files after the update to 2017.1. And that is the actual answer to the problem with this whole thing. Uh, Anne here says renaming the .mov to mp4 might work. And uh, I'm going to give that a try in this video, but as we will see in a minute or so, that does not work. So simply renaming a file is not uh, translating it over. So let's take a look at the list of files that I have there. I'm opening it up, and I want to copy a file because I don't want to lose it should something bad happen to it. So I made a copy of it, 
and then I'm going to uh, paste it back into my list of files there. And there you go. My i7 Windows system shouldn't take very long to do that. And there you go. I've made a copy of my product. And that's very important whenever you're messing with video, especially if you have uh, video files that are very important to you. You don't want to uh, mess around on a, on a tightrope, so to speak, and lose video. Uh, here I am going to rename it to a .mp4 file. And as you can see, I'll reopen the file here under Properties. And we find out that, no, that did not actually translate this file over to an MP4. It simply added that to the name list. So this is not going to work for us. Simply renaming the file, we're going to have to uh, convert it over. And a little bit later in the video, as I said, uh, we'll use one of the best and free, I might add, products called Handbrake. And here it is, uh, right on the internet. You can go to https colon forward slash forward slash handbrake dot fr. It's a French made program, open source video transcoder, as you can read there. If you're a Windows user or any other platform, you can go ahead and download it. And then after it's downloaded, you can go ahead and put the program on your computer, install it. And I'll show you how to convert this file over using this handy open source video transcoder. It's got a lot of features to it. You can do a whole lot with this program, not just simply convert. Uh, video files over. You can uh, save DVDs to your computer, convert them over into video files as well. Very useful program to have. I've used it over the years. And by the way, I want to give a shout out to Leo Laporte. If anybody's a big fan of Leo Laporte out there at the twit.tv network, this is where I learned of this program called Handbrake. So there we are. We, we've opened the program. And I want to open a video file, a single video file. I'm going to find it up on the desktop there. And there's my bunch of files that I need to now convert. And I'm going to open the specific file that we were looking at. And there's the Handbrake uh, graphic user interface. It's very easy. On the right side, you have some presets. You can preset uh, your video to a number of different uh, outputs. We've selected the source file, as you can see there. We're going to rename it to an MP4. Convert it, actually. I keep saying rename, but we're actually converting. And uh, here's our title, the source file. And before we start to encode it, I'm going to name our file and where it should end up after it's re-encoded. I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'm going to name this file as something very simple for me to find uh, for the purposes of this video. A video MP4 handbrake should do it. I'm going to save it. Again, the output is going to the desktop under that file name. And then we can hit our Start and Code button. And as you can see on my Windows 10 i7 system, it's not going to take very long. It's a 10-minute video file. Probably take a couple minutes or so. So while it's encoding, we'll take a small break and we'll come back in just a moment. And uh, right as the video file is done, save you the uh, extra minutes of watching this and we'll come back and uh, finish this in a moment
Okay, here is the file. It's all finished. It's finished encoding, re-encoding. And there is the location of where the file is. I can try to preview it uh, right from the Handbrake application. Um, as you can see here in a second, I did not uh, load a program yet on my Windows system here called VLC. And that's what Handbrake is going to look for to use. So I won't be able to show you a, a demonstration of this video using the Handbrake application. But I can uh, bring it up under the finished product. And I'll show you uh, how it looks here in a second. Close out some of these programs. And here's our finished re-encoded product. I'm going to open it. We'll use uh, an app, Movies and TV, here on the Windows system. And there it is. Uh, voila. The video MP4 handbrake. There's the preview. So we know the video works. We'll go back to Premiere Pro. I'm going to import it again. And as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, uh, this file should go right in without a hitch and show me both video and audio. And here is our file. I believe it is anyway. Let's scroll through there again. And yes, this should be the file here. 10 minute file, it's an MP4. And there's my phone, which I don't want to ring during this video. Turn it off, and there's our file imported. And voila, we're finished here. We have a good working file in Premiere Pro now. And here was the initial file that I tried to import, and all I was getting was audio. So uh, that's the answer. No longer supported in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. You're going to have to convert it over all .mov files to an mp4 or whatever your choice of file is. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped you a whole lot.